YouTube, what's good? It's your boy K-Law, back with another video. But this time, bringing y'all something a little different, you feel me? So, a lot of people who don't know me, you know what I'm saying? I did four years in the Florida State Prison. From 2008, you know what I'm saying, to 2012, I initially got charged with a robbery, aggravated assault, and some other charges, but the robber only stuck, you know what I'm saying? But if y'all really want to know, you know what I'm saying, more about my case, just let me know, you know what I'm saying? I'll let y'all know in another video. But long story short, I ended up pleading out uh, to the robbery, took six years probation because it was my first charge, which was a setup, and then violated like not even a year later. Then, you know what I'm saying, I got sentenced to 52 months, Florida State Prison. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, basically. So now, once I got sentenced, you know what I mean? I'm in the county jail waiting to go to prison. So this was a Tuesday. And you don't really know when you're going to go. You know what I'm saying? You hear a lot of people say sometimes it be backed up. So you wait like a month, month and a half, three weeks. So I got sentenced on a Tuesday. So that Monday come around, which is six days later, me and my roommates, who I was in the cell with in the um, county jail, we was in orientation dorm at that. Um, orientation, basically, they telling you how the jail is ran and, you know what I'm saying, kind of getting you ready to go in the, the general population. So they call it um, orientation dorm. So you basically just with people who just got in the jail. So me and my roommates, we done been up for like one o'clock in the morning. We go to sleep by one o'clock. So probably like 30 minutes, maybe an hour later, the officer rang the little intercom. He like, law, pack it up. So I'm like, where I'm going? He was like, uh, DOC. I was like, oh, snap. You know what I'm saying? Them folks came and got me ASAP. This is like a week later, you know what I mean? So I ain't got much. I'm fresh in the county jail from the streets. I ain't, you know what I mean? I ain't got no no uh, commissary, nothing. All I got is maybe pen and pad, a few envelopes. That's probably it. So then I pack my stuff up, go down, then they take you downstairs and put you in the holding cell. And then while you're in this holding cell, you basically waiting from um, I mean, not waiting for you, waiting for people to come from other parts of the jail and to the cell who going to prison too. So this, this is like an hour wait right here, hour and a half, maybe two hour wait. So we in there waiting. I'm nervous. I see FBI people coming in and I, they taking people because we had to, basically we in the transport of cell. We about to get transported to DOC. So then they finally get us on the bus. It's maybe like 15, 20 of us. So as soon as we get on the bus and start riding, one of the OGs, he like, hey y'all, just letting y'all know, uh, these folks in here don't play. You know what I'm saying? When we get up here, it's a whole nother ball game. They ain't like the county jail officers, these, you know what I'm saying? State prison officers, these folks don't care. They gonna put their hands on you. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm nervous already cold you know what i'm saying it's november so i'm cold you know what i'm saying only thing we got on is the county jumpsuit no boxers just jumpsuit and slides and shackles you know what i'm saying no heat on the bus so we on the way there we finally get there probably like by this time it's maybe like three four in the morning so it's still dark we come into like a sally port um Officers come on the bus, you know what I'm saying? They do all the little yelling, hold your head down and all of that. So we finally get off the bus into the sally port. So we still outside. So it's like 30, 40 degrees. We out here, they done made us strip butt naked, making us um squat, cough, bend over. So at this one particular time, the officer was giving commands and I guess he's, he was like, uh, hold, your, hold your hands up. And then he was like, wiggle your fingers. But I ain't hear that part. So he walked down to me. He was like, 
Boy, if you don't wiggle your fucking fingers, I'll cave your fucking chest in. Just like that. So I went to wiggle my fingers. So he walk off and they finished saying what they wanted us to do. They had us get dressed, put us in the holding cell. And then they were like, all right, y'all line up again. Y'all getting back on the bus. Y'all going to Lake Butler Reception Center. So we at CFRC, you know what I'm saying? Which is the Central Florida Reception Center. So basically, if you in prison or if you in jail in Central Florida, you most likely gonna go to Central Florida Reception Center. So Orlando, Brevard County, um, Lake County, like all the surrounding counties of Orlando, you most likely gonna go to Central Florida Reception Center to get, uh, I guess get basically get in the prison system, like to get a uh, reception in the prison system. Cause you gotta go through orientation and all of that too, before you go to your main prison. So like I was saying, they basically had us get back on the bus to go to Lake Butler now. So I done heard stories about Lake Butler too. So, you know what I'm saying? Lake Butler, it's, it's a rough spot. And I actually went through the, uh, yeah, I go through that twice. I, I went through that once when I had to end up transferring um, prisons. So I ended up going through the reception, like I'm about to tell y'all, and then I had to go back through the um, the transfer prison. So now they got us on the bus with other counties. That's why I was telling y'all about about the um, different surrounding counties. So now they got us on the bus. It's a bus full of us now. So it's a, it's a few hour drive, long drive. Like I said, we cold. We don't got no blankets, we ain't got no socks, we ain't got no boxes on, we just in the county jumpsuits and the, the slides, cause we, you know what I'm saying, we about to get um, transferred to DOC. So, finally get to Lake Butler, you know what I'm saying, this place, like it just looks scary, coming in, the, you know what I mean, coming into the gates, like this place just, like man, you just see the barbed wire fences everywhere. So they finally get us on the, take us off the bus now we in like a uh it's, it's another sally port but once we get off in the sally port they take us into like this room which is connected to another uh space as well but they take us into this room strip us they tell you know what i'm saying strip then they make you um they got this wooden bench make you get on this wooden bench spread your butt cheeks all of that yeah cough then they tell you to lean your head on the wall and don't pick your head up. So while we leaning our head on the wall, I'm guessing this one dude down down the way on the bench, I guess he must have lifted his head because all I heard was fists and, and him screaming. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, so that was, yeah, them, them, them folks were real in that. They, bought, they actually got a... Um, they got a jar with gold teeth, you know what I'm saying? Ask anybody who's been to Lake Butler, anybody who on YouTube, who been to Florida State Prison, they'll tell you about this jar with gold teeth that um the people had at Lake Butler back in the days. You know what I'm saying? They beat you, knock you out. They done killed a few people, quite a few people. Man, them folks ain't playing. But yeah, they had them beat Buddy up. I ain't look, I couldn't look because my head was on the wall, so yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Once 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 they done stripping you or whatever, they give you some boxes, they give you a towel, you know what I'm saying? You gotta line up, they tell you to go, you gotta go in this other room, you know what I'm saying? Then once you sit in that other room, you pretty much now you waiting to get your picture taken, you waiting to um get your head shaved, get your weight, get your height, um, they gonna you gonna talk to the doctor. I think you're gonna talk to the um no, nah, that's the next day. Classification is the next day. But um, yeah, you pretty much um just gotta do that for hours, man. And it ain't like no um 10, 15, 30 minute process. Like this is a all day process. We didn't probably get to our dorm till probably four, five in the afternoon, right before dinner, right before child. So yeah, um, we basically had to do that. So like, mind you, like I said, I'm nervous, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on. This is my first day in prison. I ain't never been to prison. You know what I'm saying? Let alone, I ain't never really been to jail that many times before that. I think I've been like twice before that. 
and then um you know what i'm saying they finally give you um they give you your paperwork tell you what dorm you're gonna be in so like i say this whole time i'm already thinking that i'm about to go have to fight because i'm on wild probation which is you for offender probation but once you violate your youth for offender probation, they basically send you to the adult side of the prison. So when you go to your dorms and stuff, when you go to prison, main prison, or if you when you go to reception center, they got the the walls separate from the the adults. Basically, the walls they like some of them like eighteen to like twenty four. You know what I'm saying? Twenty five or something like that. So basically. Once you wild, you go into the JIT count. That's what they call them, JIT counts. Gladiator counts, whatever. So, like I said, I'm already thinking I'm finna have to bump as soon as I go in here. But, come to find out, that's what happened. They, once I violated my probation, they snatched my wild status. So, I probably came out pretty good because I probably would have been fighting my whole damn bid the whole four years. You know what I'm saying? If I would have went to wild count. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, me and a few other people who was in my county jail, we was um, in the same dorm. So we kind of just walked the same way. And, you know what I'm saying? We walked in the dorm. And, man, I'm going to tell you right now, boy, Florida prison system is one of the roughest in the country. You know what I'm saying? There's a few other ones, but, boy, boy yeah, it, it go down. And I said that to say, man, as soon as we walked in the dorm, like we just opened the door, the officers were nowhere to be found. It's it's supposed to be two officers for uh each dorm, you know what I'm saying? So these officers ain't nowhere to be found. People in here smoking. Now mind you, it's 2008, so back then you could legally go to the canteen in prison and buy cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? You could buy um they call them rips. It was basically um the loose tobacco. They say the loose tobacco, and then they say the top paper. You know what I'm saying? You just got to roll it yourself and come in a little pack. But yeah, people used to get those and sell them. They call them rips. So yeah, people in here just smoking rips, you know what I'm saying? Throughout the dorm and these open bay dorms too. So you got bunks, you know what I'm saying? All the way around the dorm. And then you got some in the middle. And then in the spaces is the walkways. Then you got the a day room where the TV at. And you got the bathroom and the showers. And then you got the phone, you know what I'm saying? So. Soon, like I say, as soon as I walk in, you know what I'm saying, everybody using the phone, eating, um, people smoking there. Well, I'm talking about it's like, as soon as I walked in, it was like smoke just everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, man, I don't know what to expect. So I found my bunk. You know what I'm saying? I'm sleeping. I'm tired. I ain't, I done been up the whole night before in the county. You know what I'm saying? Then this all day process. So get to my bunk, you know what I'm saying? I see my, my, my bunkie, he uh, sitting down here on the bottom. He he uh, he smoking, he smoking the rip, talking to his, uh, the next dope, the person in the next bunk. So, um, person in the next bunk, he, he like, he leaning on my bunk. He like, oh, this you, Jit? So, he see my ID tag, he see where I'm from. And in our, um, Florida, you basically can tell what people from by they uh, or what they caught their charges at um by the dc number your docket number in orlando you got x's you know what i'm saying so you know what i'm saying dc number x and then your, your docket number so you know what i'm saying he see that so he like you smoke so at this time like i ain't really smoke cigarettes but like i said it's been an all-day process i'm like hell yeah i smoke let me smoke i'm like bro we finna smoke finna smoke right here like yeah bro man you good them officers ain't man they ain't finna do nothing so i'm like what i'm like okay well shit so i fire up you know what i'm saying get lightheaded or whatever so you know what i'm saying like i said i'm new to all this prison stuff you know what i'm saying and man like my first day honestly it went rough as far as like me fighting and me um getting into it with people but that did happen, you know what I'm saying, later on down the line once you get to your main prison. But like I say, that's a that's a whole nother story of y'all, you know what I'm saying, want that. But like my first day, it was more like hard mentally, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's like, man, you in prison, 
it ain't like I can just go call my mama or call my family or call my girl or, you know what I'm saying, call anybody and be like, hey, come get me or, you know what I'm saying, they doing this and nah. all. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't even use the phone for a few days because I hadn't been processing the system. You know what I'm saying? So, like I say, prison is a whole nother, it's a whole nother ball game. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't. I mean, I could write letters, but they ain't gonna get it. You know what I'm saying? Because pretty much I'm transitioning into prison, so this is not my main facility I'm gonna be at. So I'm basically transitioning. But you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, back to the store. So after that, you know what I'm saying, I chill. I just lay on my bunk, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm just I'm just thinking, I'm like, damn, I'm in prison. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm in the blues or I'm like, I'm really, I'm honestly, I'm in shock. Like for one, cause I ain't think I was gonna get sent to prison for the violation because I didn't violate with a new charge. I violated on the technicality. And you know, like I say, I'm young, it's my first charge, so Judge one having that, he bailed me 52 months. So I'm I'm laying on my bunk on my back, you know what I'm saying? I'm just thinking, I'm just looking around, I'm 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 absorbing the environment, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, man, I'm in prison, man. Like, how the hell did I end up here? And then like from that day forward, like literally the first day I was like, yeah, I won't be back. You know what I'm saying? If I make it out alive, that's what I'm saying. If I make it out alive. I won't be back in them four years. And I ain't been back. And I ain't going back. But yeah. So you know what I'm saying? A little bit after that, probably like an hour or so after that, um, we get ready for child. It's dinner time now. Like I said, we it's a all day process. So and you can't go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? You can't um can't get up under the covers and sleep all day like in the county jail. No, you you gotta have your bed made up till the lights go out. That that's when you can get under the covers and go to sleep. So we about to get ready to go to child. You know what I'm saying? And it's just kind of like movies. You know what I'm saying? You see them, people huddled up by the door. Then once they open the door, you know what I'm saying? You see people kind of like, you know what I'm saying? They kind of hurry up and get out. They trying to get in line first, and you know what I'm saying? And it's just man, the the, the whole environment it was. It was mentally draining, you know what I'm saying? Especially my first day, you know what I'm saying? For me, not having experienced nothing like this, man, that, man, listen, you gotta be strong, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you got to be strong. But, you know what I'm saying? I made the best, I made the best of my bid, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? I, I learned a lot, I read a lot, I got in shape, worked out, you know what I'm saying? But, like I say, yeah, that first day, going to child, we going to child and it's not like, oh, you just about to go in there and sit down and get your food. Now they have you outside lined up in the cold for, you be out there for a good 10, 15 minutes. You know what I'm saying? So you just basically in a long line, you got lines coming from everywhere, but they, they basically got it, got lines in the prisons where you got to walk and where you can't walk. So you basically lined up, you just see people going in and coming out and then once you get in there, you ain't, you really don't got no time to eat. You know what I'm saying? Once you get in there, you really better start eating soon as you get your tray before you, like while you walking to go sit down, you better start eating. So, you know what I'm saying? I get in there, as soon as we get in there, we in probably like row five. We'll say row five, they like row one, get up, row two, get ready. Now we in row five, so they they doing this like every probably minute or two minutes. So you know what I'm saying? You gotta hurry up and eat, put your tray in the window and get back, you know what I'm saying, get back in the line to go out and go back to your dorm. So I ain't finished my food. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm used to just sitting and kinda, you know what I'm saying, thinking while I'm eating or whatever, you know what I'm saying, watching TV, no, I hurry up and eat and ate what I can and got up out of the, go back to the dorm. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, I'm still new to this, so I try to call home. Can't call home, phone ain't working. So I'm asking people, hey man, how, how I get my phone to work, this and this and that. You know what I'm saying? They telling me, they like, oh, you gotta wait a few days, this. So now I'm like, okay, well, damn, can I go get canteen? Now they like, no, nah, boy, after child ain't nothing. We on lockdown now, ain't, ain't no coming back out. So I'm like, damn. 
So it's it's still kind of daylight out. So I'm like, man, we in this dorm for the rest of the night. They like, yeah. So I'm like, oh man. So I ain't like I said, I ain't got no commissary. I ain't even got no shower slides. You know what I'm saying? My shower slides end up being my um my my slides that I had from the county. They re they only let you keep them for maybe like a few days till you till you get some money to get you some regular shower slides. And then, well, some people some people used to keep theirs. They used to keep them. I ain't gonna lie. Some people used to keep theirs, but most of the time they end up taking them. But yeah, so I ain't had no shower slides. So I had to shower in the same. You know what I'm saying? Same um county slides I had. You know what I'm saying? I ain't have no soap. They gave you, they give you like a little bar of soap. They ain't give us no toilet paper the first day. I had to, you know what I'm saying? Ask somebody for toilet paper, man. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? That that Florida prison life ain't what it is. I'm telling you now. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, that's just my first day. You know what I'm saying? My second day, I got into it with a dude who say he was from New Orleans. He was, he was on medication. You know what I'm saying? And if you know about Lake Butler. Lake Butler is a reception and medical. So if you if you in anywhere in the um Florida State prison system and say you break a bone, you get hurt, um stabbed up, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Something major to where the prison you at, they can't take care of you, they'll send you to Lake Butler. So you gotta mind you mind you now, these people got life sentences, you know what I'm saying? These people got fifty years, seventy years, eighty years. You know what I'm saying? These people on all type of medication. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they just throw you in the dorm with these folks. You know what I'm saying? And the dude who I got into it with, he was uh, in a wheelchair. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was in a wheelchair, but he could walk. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, but that's, like I say, that's another story. We, me and bro got into it a little bit. Like, we ain't fighting nothing, but, you know what I'm saying? We had exchange words, and then I ended up getting moved the very next day anyway. So, it really wasn't no big issue, but yeah. So, you know what I'm saying, once once I showered and all of that, you know what I'm saying, kinda kinda, you know what I'm saying, adjusted a little bit to this new spot that I'm at for I don't know how long because they don't tell you nothing. You don't know when you leave and you don't know when you getting moved, you don't you know what I'm saying, you don't know nothing. Some people been in that same transit dorm for two months, you know what I'm saying, waiting to go back to they 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 regular prison or you know what I'm saying, wait to go to a prison. You know what I'm saying? So it's all it's all different type of people you meet, they um put you in there with. So, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, the first night, you know what I'm saying? I, like I said, I called myself trying to work out in the county anyway for that little week. So I did my little push ups, said my prayers and laid down and I, man, listen. I'm telling you, man, that like, I couldn't sleep good for nothing. For one, you know what I'm saying? You got all these people in, in this damn dorm making all type of noises and reading books and walking around. Some people don't even go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? They stay up all night. But yeah, that first night was, it was hell mentally, man. So I advise y'all, boy, listen, you ain't been to prison. I don't care where you at, what state, whether you hear it's good or not, it ain't good. Trust me, you got something that's like, I guess lenient, but you still in prison, so yeah, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's pretty much my first day, man. And you know what I'm saying? Like I say, it wasn't it wasn't bad physically, but mentally, it was draining, you know what I'm saying? Just to know like you in this place by yourself. Can't nobody come save you, you know what I'm saying? Can't nobody come put money on your books right then and say, Hey, let him go get some um food and deodorant and you know what I'm saying? Stuff from the canteen tomorrow. No, ain't none of that. Your people can't call up there and say, let me talk to you. You know what I'm saying? Uh-uh. So, yeah, like I say, mentally it was draining. You know what I'm saying? Just adjusting to the prison life because it's different from county. Like, it's it's similar, but when you're in the county jail, you can sleep all day. You know what I'm saying? You ain't really got to make your bunk up like that. You know what I'm saying? Um... You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's way more lenient. The officers don't talk to you too crazy. You know what I'm saying? They don't really put their hands on you like that. But DOC, like, 
just the environment being like just being in the dorm just being around the other inmates you know what i'm saying like it you could feel the aura like it's a whole nother it's a whole nother ball game you know what i'm saying you don't want to experience it but but yeah you know what i'm saying so yeah that was my first day y'all you know what i'm saying if you like this video like share subscribe and you know what i'm saying let me know in the comments if y'all liked it too you feel me i still got my um cooking videos i'm putting up too but you know what i'm saying i just want to let y'all know you know what i'm saying about me let y'all in on my world a little bit i probably do i'm probably gonna end up doing some more videos like this because a few people been asking but anyway let me know what y'all think anyway and y'all like this video too i know i said it already but when y'all like the video it helped the video out too you know what i'm saying so we trying to go up get these subscribers up you feel me you know what i'm saying so y'all fool with your boy yeah